good morning. Today's lesson is 4.8. Equivalent ratio and graphs. Our essential question, how can you use a graph to represent the equivalent ratios? Let's unlock the problem. A car travels at a rate of 50 miles per hour. Use the equivalent ratios to graph the distance the car travels over time. Graph the time on the x-axis and the distance on the y-axis. What words in the problem tells you the unit rate? So we did the unit rates yesterday, right? Well, the unit rate is 50 miles per one hour. Right here, it tells you the unit rate is 50 per one hour. Write and graph the equivalent ratios. Use the unit rate to write the equivalent ratios. So we have 50 miles per hour, right? So we're gonna write an equivalent ratio for 50 miles for one hour times two. So if I multiply the top and the bottom times two, I get 100 miles for every two hours. So 50 miles for one hour, and then over here I have 100 miles for two hours. So if I travel 150, that's gonna be three hours. If I travel 200, it's gonna be four hours. And if I travel five hours, it's gonna be 250. And we've done these charts before. So now I can use an order pair to represent each ratio in the table. Let's the x coordinate represent the time in hours and the y coordinate represent the distance in miles. So if I have 50 miles for one hour, the one hour is gonna be the time, it's gonna be my first coordinate, my x, and the 50 miles is gonna be y, my y coordinate. So if I'm gonna do the chart that's up here, I'm gonna have um, one, 50, and then the next one, let me move this over here. The next one is gonna be two and 100, then we're gonna have three and 150, four and 200, five and 250. So what I did here is I took this chart, the first, the, these are all my x coordinates, and then these are all my y coordinates. Use the coordinate pairs to graph the chart's distance over time. Think, the graph represents the same relationship as the unit rate. So for every one hour the car travels, the distance is going to increase by 50, right? So let's look over here. They kind of made a really big chart right here. So if I graph my first one, I, whoops, I went over one. I went over one and up 50. On the second one, I went over two and up 100. Over three and up 150. Over four and up 200. Over five and up 250. So they kind of go in a little line. So the order pairs lie on a line. For each order pair, the y coordinates is 50 times the x coordinate. Let's do another example. During a heavy rainstorm, the waters of the Blue River rose at a steady rate for eight hours. The graph shows the river's increase in height over time. Use the graph to complete the table of equivalent ratios. How many inches did the water, did the river rise in eight hours? So think, on the graph, the x coordinate represents the time in hours, and the y, co y coordinate represents the river's increase height in inches. So the order pair one and three, right? So I have one and three right there. Means that, mean, means that after one hour, the river rose three inches, right? So here's my I over one, up three. So if I have over one and up three, if I go over two, it's going to be up six, right? So I graph that. Over two, up six. And this says four. So if I go over four, right, I'm going to go up 12. If I go over six, I'm gonna go up 18. Over eight, I'm gonna go up 24, because I've gotta keep my, my equivalent ratios. We've been doing this for a while now, since the very beginning, but now we're doing it, graphing it, right? So the river rose 24 inches in eight hours. If I look over here, there's my eight hours, and there's my 24. Look for patterns. Describe the pattern that you see in the graph and table. Well, in the graph and table, I see that the increase in the river's height in inches is three times the number of hours because it's one for every three. So every time I increase an hour, I add three. So there's two, I added three more. If I were to have a three here, instead of it being six, it would have been nine, right? If I would have had a five here in between, instead of um, four goes into four is 12, I increase it by three, it'd be 15, so it'd be five and 15. Explain how you know that the ratios in the table are equivalent. Well, I know that they're equivalent because you can write each ratio on the table as a unit rate, three inches in one hour. So 24 and eight, 24 and eight, if I divided them both by eight, I would get three in one hour, which is essentially simplifying my fraction, right? Use appropriate tools. 
Matt earns $12 per hour. Explain how you could use equivalent ratios to draw a graph of his earnings over time. Well, you could make a table of equivalent ratios, and then you could use the table to write the ordered pairs with the x-coordinate representing the time in hours and the y-coordinate representing the earnings in dollars, and then graph the ordered pairs. A redwood tree grows at a weight of rate of four feet per year. Use this information for one through three. So for every four years, it's going to grow, right? So for four, every one, you're going to get four. So we've got one to four. So if I do two, I'm going to add four more, so it's going to be eight. If I do three, I add four more, so it's going to be 12. If I do four, I'm going to add four more, it's going to be 16. I do five, I'm going to add four more, and it's going to be 20, right? Now, write the ordered pairs, letting the x-coordinate represent the time in years and the y-coordinate representing the height in feet. So time in years is my x, height in feet is my y. So it's going to be 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, 12. 4, 16, 5, 20, right? So let me reveal that, sorry. So again, 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, 12, 4, 16, 5, 20. Now it wants you to use the ordered pair to graph the tree's growth over time. So I'm going to use these coordinates. I'm going to go over 1 and up 4. Over 1, up 4. This one says 2, 8. Over 2, up to 8. The next one says 3 and 12 over three, up to 12. This one says four and 16, over four, up to 16. This one says five and 20, so I'm gonna go over five and up to 20. Okay, for the rest, I want you to do on your own, work with a partner, or if you need me, I'm available for you. Good luck.